To create a smoother and more spherical shape by increasing the number of hexagonal pyramids, we can utilize the concept of subdividing and projecting polyhedral faces. We take our perfect sphere and divide it into the same number of hexagonal pyramids. Each pyramid represents a portion of the sphere's volume. Next, we arrange these hexagonal pyramids into a horizontal line. Each pyramid represents a slice of the sphere. Let's focus on one of these hexagonal pyramids. To understand the volume, we need to know two things, the area of the hexagonal base and the height of the pyramid. The volume of a hexagonal pyramid is given by the formula, one-third, the product of the base area and the height. To find the total volume of the sphere, we sum the volumes of all these hexagonal pyramids. Mathematically, this can be expressed as V1 plus V2 plus V3 plus up to V... up to Vn, where n is the number of pyramids. Sum the volumes of all these pyramids we get. Volume of the sphere equals the sum of one-third times the base area times r. By performing mathematical calculations, we find that the formula for the volume of a sphere is equal to one-third of the radius multiplied by the sum of all the base areas of the pyramids. B1, B2, B3, B4, up to Bn are surface areas of pyramids. Since the sum of all the base areas of the hexagonal pyramids is equal to the surface area of the sphere, which is surface area sphere equals 4 pi r squared. We can substitute this into our formula. Volume of the sphere equals 1 third times 4 times pi times r cube. I hope this method gave you a clearer understanding of how the volume of a sphere is calculated. If you enjoyed this explanation, please give this video a thumbs up and subscribe.